Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we are headed into Ikea to see what is new for the 2024 spring season. I cannot wait to show you what is new, what we have in store, and don't forget to stick around for the haul at the end of today's video. really love these. These are cute. I think they're supposed to have little votives. Oh, they do. Little votives in there. These little ones are $6.99. They have bigger ones that are $13.99. So it looks like they have two sizes, but I love those lanterns. And how cute is this table? Oh, it's even marked down to $139. Is this the table? Yep. It is the table marked down to $139 wonder what the chairs are. Yep, the chairs are even marked down. New lower price, the chairs are marked down to 45 bucks. I love this table. This is so nice. Now, if you've never shopped Ikea before, everything is sold separately. It is not sold together, so table is separate from the chairs. Cushions are all separate. The pillows are all separate, and then the pillowcases are separate from that. <laughs> so it's a lot of different things, but I love how they set everything up so you can kind of get an idea. You know, it really just kind of helps give you different ideas of your own, the way if you want to set certain things up. But I just, I absolutely just love this. This is like a cute, perfect in style spring patio look. So if you're looking for those lanterns, like I said, these are super cute. We might get some of these today, um, but you can also buy some candles. You have the taller candles here and then you still have the little votives in a pack here. These are actually a hundred um, for $4.49, not bad. Um, and then the pillar candles are $12.99. Seems like there's a lot of markdowns. So this has been marked down to $499.99, $499.99. This is like perfect if you have a, like a little like eat-in spot in your kitchen. If you're looking for like a butcher block counter, I don't think this is actual like butcher block. You probably still have to use a cutting board, but I really like this. And this is, I think that pressed wood, but it has two different shelves on this side but it is very nice. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Another thing I like, I really like their cabinets and stuff. These are nice. And then they have the soft closed drawers usually. These ones must not, yeah, these ones don't, but you can get their cabinets with soft clothes. But I do kind of like the looks of these that kind of have the underneath space down there. They seem very farmhouse to me, like actual vintage farmhouse. They have tons of storage, like pantry storage as well. I like that they offer both glass and plastic options, whatever, you know, kind of suits your needs. Um, I'm really wanting to start switching everything over to glass from plastic, so I think IKEA would be definitely one of the best places to do that at. And again, I'm seeing a lot of markdowns on things. Um, these baskets marked down to $12.99, as you can see here. Um, they got the nice little wood handle and they are a metal basket. Okay, so I've been wanting to redo the girls' closets. Um, and this is the pack system. This is actually a very good example of it. But what I would do is probably do like three of these in their room. It's like the upper closet and then you have the drawer options. They do have different drawer options available um they have this glass front well actually that's plastic but they also have just the solid 
front, um, which is probably what I would do for the girls. Like I would do three on the bottom and then, you know, just have your upper space. But they come in a variety of sizes, a variety of options because you could also not just do this side, but you can also do something like this side. So it has the spot for longer garments, um, dresses, pants, stuff like that. And then you still have the solid top with some smaller drawers um, or even like a jewelry drawer. Um, and then different, just different spaces like this for your shoes. Those are actually really cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely if you're looking up for something closet wise, definitely check these out. Like I said, I've been wanting to redo the girls' closet and I'm definitely leaning towards this pack system. Um, when we come up with the money <laughs> because it is kind of expensive uh it looks like they're about 425 a piece and i don't know that that includes the drawers <laughs> let's see i th actually it does it looks like it includes the frame um and then the different options so the frame is 170 and then the clothes rail and all that additional so this entire piece set up just like that is 425 this setup here is 365 so, um, but yeah, so I'm really wanting to do this for the girls. Like I said, I want three of them so they each have their own little section and spots. It would totally change the closet situation for us, but that's like a thousand dollars that I'm not wanting to spend right now. But definitely keep this in mind if you are looking for a smaller project for your home. So here is a lot more new lower prices that they are showing here. Um, you got this one marked down from 125 to 105. That would be some nice garage storage or even some pantry storage. I don't know necessarily how tough it is for a garage, but that's actually like solid wood, which is different from what normally you see at Ikea. Uh, let's see, we got some storage here. This is a new, this looks like a bookcase. Okay, this is the Brims bookcase i'm not really sure how to pronounce that but it is marked down twenty dollars um it's a smidge smaller than like the billy bookcase that we used in the girls' room but i love these drawers i kind of wish that i would put drawers on the billy bookcases um you can that's one thing i love about ikea's bookshelves and stuff like that they are very 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 customizable you can still move these um at different spots it show you have the different markings on there but you can also add like drawers and cupboards and all different um, different features like that and right here it is here is the Billy bookcase this is what I used in the girls' library spot in their room um, it is marked down from 89 down to 69 I feel like I paid that $69 price point. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think I did. Um, I do love, they do come in a variety of colors, so I just showed you this black one in the brims. I think that's how it's pronounced, but they do have white. But again, the Billy bookcase also comes in other colors. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to do something with your project. You don't necessarily have to paint it if it comes in that available color. I just, these just caught my eye. These are so cute. They're like little ice cream bowls. I just, I like the coloring of those for the spring, they are so cute. So this is how their pillowcases come. You can just buy them in single packages like this. Actually, that's super cute. I really like that. Uh, this is a 20 by 20. This one's 20 by 20 as well. And then you, if you want, you can get a 22 by 22. Always go bigger with your in t the pillow that you stuff this with. Um, that way it's a nice full pillow. So these are 20 by 20. They look like they're 10 bucks for a two pack. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, that's a hanging ivy. Oh, that's for down there. But yeah, this is cushion cover, but it looks like it's a pillow cover. Maybe it's just in the wrong spot, but I think that is super cute. The color is coming off really weird on the camera. It's more like an orange and light pink, but it's actually kind of like a mauve and a light pink. I think it's really pretty. I really love these little um, patio wood things. I don't really know what they're called, but I really like them. They are really nice, and I feel like they would look super cute if you live like in a little apartment and you wanted to like do your outdoor like a little 
um, patio or balcony. I think they would be super cute flooring. They are, um, like they do drain. So that would be really easy to put on a balcony, but and renter friendly for sure. Here's another balcony, like renter friendly patio option. They have these ones here that are also drain, they allow drainage uh, or proper drainage. These chairs are cool. I like those. They're not your normal like eggshell chair that are really popular, but they have this like funky backing on them. Those are so cool. They are $399.99, which run pretty much about the same, I think, as the egg chairs. You can sometimes get the egg chairs cheaper, but I just think that is so fun and funky and fresh. I love this patio idea, just so cute. And then look at this, this little um, greenhouse. This is 30 bucks, but how cute is that? You can get your fake little florals or you can get real ones. Um, if you guys have been around, you know fake florals are, are not really a thing in the Fraser household. However, I'm really wanting to put a greenery in the house and my cat keeps eating it, so we might be switching over to some faux plants. I really love this kitchen setup. The one thing I like about Ikea, like I said, they do these like little setups in here and you can literally just take this. Oh, look at another new lower price sign. Um, but you can literally take this over to their cabinet worker designing area and literally design something very similar to this kitchen for your house. I love these drawers. I am not gonna lie, I wish we would have put drawers in our island as opposed to cabinets. I absolutely love these. I think that is so cool. <laughs> and I do, I actually really like these um, no knobs. Is that what you call it? Handles? I don't know. But they also offer these counters and everything like that. But the other thing I also like is that you can see all this decor set up here. If there's something that you like on it, um, you just walk over, look at the price tag, and you can get like the, the little this little thing right here you can take out and take it and it'll tell you where to pick this item up at um, for instance this cutting board is in this general area uh, but I just I like that it has that you can also just take a picture if you would like but okay you guys this backsplash just caught my eye how cool are those tiles I love how rustic they are that is so cool but um, anyway back to what I was saying if you want something if there's something that you like that's sitting here um, even if it's this little fork you just it looks like they're out of the little tags here but I know that we'll be finding this down in the little kitchen shopping area um, I will definitely show you that later on in this video so make sure that you stay tuned I love that they also provide these the, we saw these pillows up front but look they also come in a variety of other colors I I am living for these I think they are super super cute that is definitely pulling a different color, but it's definitely like a sagey green uh, color. But then they have it also in blue here. Looks very cornflower blue, I would say. And then, like I said, um, mustard as well. Like a very mustard color. I am living for these, these though. But they also have a variety of other um, pillowcases as well or just plain ones if you want something just plain. They also come in that blue, a green, and then other fun floral patterns. So I don't know if this is new, it's been a while since I've been here but usually I know that they have a lot of different couch options um, but they're usually in this like fabric cover but I'm seeing leather you guys is this one I don't think this is real leather uh, uh, I don't know um, 
I don't think that one's real leather, but if you guys come over here with me, this is authentic. This is real leather. You can feel the realness in this and you can see it in the price tag, but still, I mean, only $2,500 for this le real leather couch is a great steel. I love this couch. I actually really like the color too. It's kind of like that camel. I think I would call it camel. Um, but I like that. So I don't know how aniline leather, I think is what it says. So, um, very, very nice couch. But if you come over here, it looks like they have some other ones as well. Let's see. Is this one real? Oh, it, I definitely think these are, I think, I am definitely, yep, 1849. That one, oh, I like this one too. I like the tufted cushions on that. It's 1249, but they are definitely upping their game in the couch section. You can see here, <laughs> Kendall's over here playing, um, but you can set up different things that you're wanting um, or however you want to build your couch. Oh, they even have velvet now. Okay, where are. Oh goodness, I just forgot the name of the movie where the prince comes to America and he's like, that's beautiful. What is that velvet? Okay, it's my husband's favorite movie and I cannot remember the name of it, but that is what that reminds me of. <laughs> they are really up in their game though. Like, look at how nice this black leather sofa is. Okay, Ikea, I see you. And corduroy. Oh yeah, that is nice. Perfect for those college students that are off to their first apartments or even at their dorms if they have the space in a dorm, I guess. But because these are just perfect little tiny couches. Perfect, like I said, for those studio apartments, a first time apartment, whatever it may be. So I showed you the bright colors, but here are the neutral colors. You know, I had somebody tell me that orange isn't neutral, but I feel like I, I don't mean necessarily orange, but more of the like brown tones I feel are very neutral. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it kind of maybe is whatever your own opinion is on it, but I feel like this is very much a neutral corner here um, with your kind of caramely browns here and then you have your grays and your creams and your blacks all right here i think these are perfect again you have that little um pillowcase with the little puffs on there but you have a bunch of different varieties here you have some florals or just some plain um those are almost like a velvety material as well but lots of different style of pillowcases available here i mean that one's a really good boho print there for you but um they also have a lot of different throws i actually really like this waffle throw here um and it's only 20 bucks let's see 51 by 67 i don't think that's a bad size either so 20 bucks for a nice waffle throw and that material actually feels really nice Okay, so you have your couches and you also need your, the rest of your furniture, whether it's an entertainment stand, an entryway table, coffee table, in table, you have all the options here. Um, there's white, as you can see, there's some black and wood mixed options, um, light wood, more of a normal warmer color toned wood. Uh, I think these are brown, but a lot of different options. You even have like some like Art Deco style here, metal. Oh, we see another mark down there, but a lot of different options. I think this one's really cute too. It has the two tables there, so you can just pull it out if you need something a little uh, longer. I know it's really popular right now to have some like extra little chair seating options which they have plenty of different options as you can tell here available um, tons of different options you can even put these like out on the patio I feel like like a covered patio uh, and another markdown it's only five bucks but hey five bucks is five bucks am I right <laughs> but again lots of different items it looks like this one is new here uh, it is $99.99 you could definitely just pick up a cushion downstairs and put it on there to make it a little bit more comfortable because I can't imagine that that's very comfortable <laughs> to sit on but it looks like they also have a black version up there um, they have some wicker versions here that are new 
I think the pricing on them is pretty fair, I would say. And like I said, you can get the cushions downstairs. They do have them available. They are not together. You have to buy them separately, but that's, I think, what helps keep Ikea's price point kind of low. And it looks like they're up in their game back here. If you can see, that is a sleeper sofa. I am actually kind of shocked at how far IKEA has come in their couch world. This one is a sleeper sofa. It is $14.49. Um, let's see, you can buy the frame, the sofa, the armrest, everything that it comes with, and that is your total price for the combination. But that is really cool. I, I'm very, very impressed. That is definitely a full size, if not a queen size bed. Now it looks like they have a different option where you can just pull it out. I'm not 100% sure how this works. Okay, looks like it's got drawers under there. I'm not 100% sure exactly what that is. Maybe that gets pushed back over the pillows. That is really cool. So it's a different option if you're looking for a kind of like a day bed almost as opposed to pulling a mattress out like that one. This one has more of like a different type of style. And this one's actually half the price as $7.49. And it actually looks like they have futon options as well. This one's a little longer than this one. Um, but the price point on this one is $4.99 where this one is $5.49. This one looks a little bit more comfortable. The mattress on it looks a little bit thicker than what's on this, or not the mattress, but the cushions. But definitely very cool. I think IKEA is like the perfect place to shop if you are looking for furniture for, like I said before, a first apartment, college kid moving out of state, anything like that, a dorm, if they have dorm space available you know i know all dorms are very different so whatever options that they may have i think there is a lot of great opportunity for furniture here at ikea for those um, college students in your life I think this is new. I have not seen it yet anyway, um, but they have artificial grass flooring. It is 60 bucks for about eight and a half square foot, but I have not seen this before, but I really like the idea of like changing it up. It looks like it comes in squares just like the others. Um, there's the price of the wood. The wood, you get about nine square foot of it for $40. So I think that's really cool. I like the option of a kind of mix and matching there, but I think it looks really cool. And then you can have some grass out on your patio or even on your balcony. your calyx system um, the calyx system actually is like their ikea's cube shelving you can buy it in different variety of sizes this is one of the options where you can buy the single cubes like it's a single row and then you have four little sections um, you can buy it like that you can buy it in fours you can buy it i think there's like a two by two four by four maybe even like a six by six. I don't remember exactly. You guys will have to look that up if we don't run into it. Um, but I love how they have the different designs in here. So it can kind of show you how you can use their furniture for things other than just like, you know, cube storage on the floor. Look at these hung up here and they have the different variety of options, you know, for your glass storage. It's like a little mini bar um, or you can even use it to put like your pictures or some flower pots. Um, they also have like this little storage piece here um, for they have wine bottles here I think is really cool but that is another thing I like about the calyx system is that they do have different options like this um, I have in mine at home I have a drawers and a cupboard actually so I think that is really cool and I love this calyx system a lot um, so but I just thought it was kind of cool that they have a different style of design here
Here's another option of the Billy bookcase. I knew I recognized it. This is the light colored wood here. Um, they must, oh, they do. They sell safety latches here. So I'm not gonna be able to open that because I don't really see, I don't really know how to open it, but um, they see how they have cupboards on there on the Billy bookcase. I love this function. I think it is so cool. while I'm walking around not only are these fun little faux plants but all the different pottery designs that they have I actually really like this one um, their pricing is not usually on the product itself but it looks like this guy is $7.99 which I think is incredibly affordable uh, for its size and considering its actual clay so I, I don't know I really like this style it is really pretty but then they also have a lot of different storage options too um, these little guys are super cute would be perfect for like little markers or color pencils or crayons or any kind of like little art supply in your kids closet or maybe in their playroom so you kind of have to watch not only, you know, looking at the furniture and stuff like that, but like I said, they have a lot of different things just randomly placed in spaces. So here you have some uh, picture frames. You know, a lot of people like swear by these picture frames and look, they are actually a lowered price. You got them from $7.99 down to $3.99. Uh, these, I, these are super popular too. These little storage units that come with lids. They just sit on there very nicely. They're nice and flush and easily stackable. These are really cool. Again, for your closet, your pantry, um, or your art closet, the pantry, you know, different things like that. And it looks like the lids are, oh, no, it comes with the lid and it is only $2.49 so definitely check out these little sections that you see just randomly along the furniture. I definitely feel like this is a new style. This is a very classic, very very nice looking. Um, not something that I thought I would ever see in Ikea with this style. It's kind of like a faux marble appearance but then you have a glass top on there. That is really nice. So it's definitely not something like I said that I have ever seen in Ikea before. So I really like that and let's see all the different pieces it comes with and then it's a total of 542 so you know you're probably just getting the base cabinet and then adding in the doors and the glass piece and stuff like that that's how ikea works <laughs> it kind of you know but i like that they're putting out the combination price on there so you can see what the total pricing is going to be so you're not just kind of guessing but this is the normal type of stuff that i see at ikea again same exact base product as this it's just set up with different doors and a different top this has the glass that has wood and the marble front where these have um, your cabinet your other cabinet fronts and then if you ever need help with your storage planning, they do have little um, computers set up to help design. Um, you can definitely call somebody over if you need help designing your project, but they have a lot of different options. As you can see, these are all different color options for your wood storage. So lots of different options. I love that about Ikea. There's always somebody around to help. If you need help with your planning, you can plan it yourself um, and then come up with your own custom ideas. Here's your Billy bookcases. Like I said, they come in a variety of sizes and colors. Um, you can leave them just like this is how we used them, but you can also put glass door fronts on them, which I actually really like those. You can also get extenders, like this one up here has an extender. It actually stops right about here and then it has that extra space. If you have the space for your ceiling, you can give it a corner piece. I absolutely just love how like usable the Billy book space, the B Billy bookcase is are. They just make them very customizable, very usable for your space. And they are heavy duty, you guys. I know it is that pressed wood. Not everybody likes it, but I will tell you what, these are way better quality than you are getting at any of your other stores.
here is your Calyx systems. Here, are the two by four. Um, you have the four by three system. I have this system in my closet, and I actually do have the drawers and the cupboards on it. Uh, not the feet, though. But I like that idea of putting the feet on there. I did not know that was an option. Um, but lots of different options as you can see here's the four by four again with the um, cupboards spacing that you can put in there and then they also have the drawer options um, or if you like just the baskets or even the little totes in there but lots of different options again with the calyx system i love love ikea's i cannot stress how much i love their organizing stuff it's just great it really is you have even like this you can get this insert for paper organization um just a lot of different options that i i again i i absolutely love it <laughs> This table is new and it definitely caught my eye. That feels very real. It is new, 369, that's for the bench, and then the table is 999. I like that, okay, so and then it has, it looks like it has a split down the middle, I'm not exactly sure. I think that's just for style, maybe it comes apart, I'm not 100% sure, but I really like the look of that. It's a very farmhousey, very modern vibes. But they do have a lot of different options of tables that I never realized that they had. Um, more rectangles, circles, really anything um, that you could, I don't know, be interested in. They even have like a farmhouse traditional here. Um, your more modern vibes, small apartment vibes. Really, like I said, just anything that your heart could desire. So if you didn't know, IKEA also has appliances. I know for sure a fridge. Um, it doesn't say on here as far as I know who makes them, but a little birdie told me that they are Whirlpool, Whirlpool appliances, which are really good appliances. I don't know price-wise. I don't know um, whether they're cheaper or not, but they do have appliances if you want that in part of your kitchen package if you are looking for that option. I really love this blue with this gold. It is really pretty. Oh, that's dishwasher. Okay, I was not expecting that. How cool. And then you have drawers. I really think if you're gonna do a kitchen on your own, definitely hit up Ikea. They will help you plan the kitchen of your dreams. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm kind of jealous of all these kitchens and I'm kind of wishing I would have reached out because they have a lot of ideas that we just didn't come with. Oh my gosh, okay, so lights in there too. I love that, how stinking cool. That is so cool. Okay, and side note, if you didn't know about the carts, yes, they go forward and backwards like any other carts, but they also, did you know you could just push sideways? How? <laughs> I just discovered that. If you knew that, why didn't nobody tell me? Like, how cool you can turn your cart literally any direction you want it to go.
So here is their appliance section. They do have fridges, um, top mounts, bottom mounts, uh, our French door, a lot of a different variety, but they do also have other appliances, wine fridge, wall ovens, microwave, OTR, your basic ranges, gas, electric, but they definitely have all of your options. They even have these other gas, um, the more updated, nicer looking gas stoves, and then all of your hood vents also um, as well. And they even have your cooktops. They have the ones that go on your counter, um, gas or electric, um, and then they have these little hot plates. That's kind of cool. options like these I think are maybe sustainable so you can make them definitely your own because they feel like they've been that they're raw and sanded down made of solid wood durable warm yep if you oil or lack or anything you can I guess you can do it but they're marked down for 39 bucks that's a cute little dresser They have a lot of new bedding. This is one of their new ones here. Um, let's see, do we see prices? Okay, so it's king pillow and duvet. So you get both for 40 bucks. Not a bad price, I don't think. Um, and then there's the uh, pillows for $35. But I, this is pretty, but the fabric, mm, be something a little <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I do like this muslin blanket here for the bottom I think that is very pretty and I do like this pillow cover on this here I like the color of it it is a $14.99 and then the inner cushion is seven bucks so uh, what is that 22 bucks for a nice throw pillow I I like that a lot and then I also like the euro shams in the back picture frames a lot of people talk about these these are actually really nice picture frames um, let's see 19 three quarters 27 I don't know what would go in that but <laughs> 25 bucks these are very again very nice picture frames that you can get here Ikea definitely has a lot of affordable frames if you are looking for something like that to finish off your space Here is your closet setup. You can also see that they have closet doors, they have hinge doors, sliding doors. Again, you can set up your own situation, um, whatever you're looking for, but they will also come help you plan out your closet. So here's the three different sizes. Um, like I was telling you before, before I think we saw like the larger size, but there's a medium size and a smaller size. I think what would fit in my girl's closet is maybe the size, but I would really hope for that size. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different drawer options. Um, like I said, you have the jewelry drawer, your ties or undergarments, um, just a regular drawer, the plexi or glass front, um, the wire, and then you have like a flat one. There's a metal one. This one I think is actually more of a tie 
pants hanger my bad <laughs> pants hanger one um this one might be more of a tie one lots of different options i just realized though i think this is what a lot of the beauty um you know influencers use are these style of drawers with this system so it's actually like 50 bucks they dropped the price nice time to buy it if you're interested in something like this but there's a lot of different options so and they also even come with the hangers above and then even that small space of storage up there as well but you have all these options and then there's also other options you can just do shelves all the way down um, but like i said tons of different options and any way that you are wanting to set this system up i think it is a great system and i definitely plan on doing it in our closets and all all three bedrooms eventually they do have other systems if you're looking for something a little more affordable this is a wardrobe combination um, that has drawers but it doesn't like permanently attach I, I mean it looks like it does attach but it is not the same setup um, you know maybe this is for the place that doesn't actually have a closet and you need to make a closet but there are a lot of like I said a lot of different options here um, as far as affordability as far as style design definitely anything to fit your budget or your style of your home I also really love these different shoe ones if you guys have been around you guys have seen this system in our house um, we have this in white I just recently changed out the top so you can definitely customize it yourself uh, they have this option it's a little thinner on the wall but they have a thicker option here and it's actually taller so this one has a drawer on the top and then it has um, like double stacking of the shoes and stuff there if you would like and then there is actually another option over here that has like the little shelf and then it has a double option. I actually really like the color of this wood. That would be really pretty in a closet um, if you were, you know, setting your system up. Uh, like I said, I want to do the stand up closet in our girls' room and I actually would like to do these on the opposite wall maybe those but actually maybe even these because they could put their jewelry like in this drawer here or their perfumes uh, makeup you know whatever they would like and then they could put all their shoes this would give them a little bit more room for their shoes these do come in a variety of colors uh there's white i think that is like an ebony black blackish brown color and then um they do have the brown option come to the uh, the kids section as you can tell it is uh, bright and colorful um lots of play things freddie has gone through two of these rugs if you guys have seen his room you have seen his car mat um that came from here there's a lot of fun different play options um tons of stuff that i have never seen before they have a fun bedroom design set up how cool is this space theme if you guys don't know we are going to be doing freddie's makeover room next month so make sure you come back for that well may if we're not in april yet but we're getting there <laughs> that is so cool of a lamp but anyway we're going to be doing his room in a space theme and i definitely think i could get some ideas from here i like this lamp in the background like the world and the moon on there that is so cool and look at these curtains with the different planets and stuff on there that is so cool space is very cool um we live on the space coast on the florida space coast and so we get to see rocket launches and all that all the time and freddie thinks it is the coolest thing so i definitely think i'm going to get some ideas from this space but they definitely have other ideas um they have this really cute pretty princess room um set up i actually really like the idea of those curtains behind the bed that is super cute so they have a lot of a variety of different curtains here at ikea affordable options for sure um definitely really pretty
some of the best child hangers. They are super adorable. Um, Freddie has these. The girls have used them. You get, let's see, two, four, six, eight for two bucks. That is a great deal. Like I said, we have used these for years and years and years. I have added them to Freddy's recently. I, I think they are very great. I highly recommend them if you have little kids clothes and you're looking for some really good hangers. You can order them online and have them shipped to your house if you don't have an Ikea near you. Um, I know that like back home, we, didn't, we lived about two and a half hours from Ikea, from the one in Kansas City. And that one actually back home, we had the option, um, there was like shippers that would drive down to Ikea, buy what you need, and then bring it back and deliver it to you if you didn't want to do a delivery option. Okay, so side note, Tammy is obsessed with pigs. How cute is he? He's $10. <laughs> I love him, look at his little tail. He's so cute, I love him. Oh my goodness, I have not seen. Their section for their kids has grown. I have not seen it this big. Look at this guy. He is so cute and just fluffy. Look at his tummy, how stinking cute. And his little pear paws. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much he is, but he is so cute. They have some sharks. They have the bears. They have whales. <laughs> Dinosaurs. That looks like Littlefoot. <laughs> Elephants, pandas. I mean, how cute is all this stuff? I am pleasantly surprised with this section because it has been a hot minute since I've been here and I have not seen this section yet. to eat here definitely check out the Swedish meatballs it is very good um, it can be kind of expensive I know right now they have a deal um, you can get two free kids meals with the purchase of one adult entree which is really nice but the food is very 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 good <laughs> So these are some of my kids' favorites, these little heart cookies. These have a raspberry filling and then there's also a chocolate filling. They love these, so these are a must when we come to Ikea. So fun fact, if you're ever wondering why there is not an Ikea near you or in certain areas of the country, it is because they will not build unless there is a 2 million um, population in the area. So near me, we actually have quite a few. I think there's four, five, I think here in Florida. Um, back home in Nebraska though, we had one towards Minneapolis and then one south in Kansas City. But literally that whole upper space of the Midwest is like completely empty. So it's, it's just kind of funny. I thought it would be a fun little, um, you know, did you know moment. These are new. I have not seen these little launch pails. They got a bigger one, like maybe for more picnic. I mean, that's really affordable. 10 bucks, 13. Um, what is this? I don't even know. I don't, maybe a tablecloth, but these are some new designs, bright colors that I have not yet seen. Alrighty, so this is the section that I was saying earlier. You can buy, um, oh, I just lost the name, duvets. Um, you can also buy your pillows because they have, you know, like I said, they have two different thing options. You can get the covers and then the pillows or the duvets are all separate. They have a variety of sizes, styles, um, a lot of different options. As you can see, there's a lot of different options here. Um, they have these kind of pillows. They have some more of like the just flat pillows here that are just not as fluffy, um, but tons and tons of different options for pillows. Even um, your duvet covers all over here. You can see the sheet options, just a bunch of different bedding options. Um, again, 
anything that you could really desire, they have available here at Ikea. These look like some new duvet options. I haven't seen these before, but they are already marking them down. So maybe they've marked them down quite a bit. So maybe they aren't new and I just have not ever seen them, but that's really pretty with the bird on there. Um, most of the pattern is like printed on, but this looks so non. But there's a bunch of different options and they all feel actually quite a bit different. This one is the softest where this one and this one's a little bit more on the rougher side. It looks like they've marked down a lot of their options. These are the blankets that I was looking at earlier. I love these. They are really nice quality throw blankets in a variety of colors and styles, patterns. Um, and they are all, they feel very nice. It looks like they have some last chance ones here, but they also have some new options. This one feels a little heavier. Um, and I really like this waffle one here. Waffle is very in style, very popular. Um, it's looking like they're all running maybe about 34, 29. I guess it just depends probably on what size that they are. And here are a lot of your um, pillow cover options. Like I said, in a variety of colors. And then definitely look out for any like leftover holiday stuff. Um, I've been seeing these yellow tags all over the store, meaning markdown or clearance. Wow, they have upgraded their fur selections. Lots of different faux fur options here. I remember when they had just like the little white ones. I'm pretty sure these are all faux considering the prices are really low on them. But that is a very great way to display a fur if you are interested in that. I know like these white kind of shaggy, almost polar bear like rugs are very popular. And they are, I think that's $25, maybe, maybe they're 40 but I know that these are very popular, especially like to sit in front of a fireplace. My cats would love that. <laughs> They've really gotten a lot of new outdoor rugs as well. There's some styles here, but a ton of different styles. I remember when they just had these and everybody on Etsy was creating their own doormats, but they have a lot of different options now. <laughs> this one's really pretty. I like I really like all the options of rugs that they have here, not just outdoor, not just the faux fur, but they also have a, just a large variety of area rugs, um, really in any style that you could ever imagine, um, they have. And they even have cow hides, <laughs> if you can believe it. Um, they've had cow hides for a really long time. These look like they are their new ones that they have. Um, these are definitely faux. I can tell by the price, I can tell by the feel of them, but that's more your speed. You want something more affordable? Definitely go with a faux and check out Ikea. Um, I think that one said it was $130. This one is also $130. They do have a cow hide option. Um, I think these ones are real. Uh, if you are looking more for that, these definitely feel real. They smell real. I can smell the leather. This one is really pretty. I like the long fur on that. That is just gorgeous. Honestly, I love the color of this. I have not ever seen a rug this color. It is really really pretty but your girl loves cow hides if you guys don't know i do have one um we actually got it in the stockyards in texas and fort worth and i don't know if i'm gonna make my way back there or not so this might definitely be an option if you do not have a tanner near you wow this one is really really soft and i will say that i feel like they're really affordable they're 159.99 um i assume that's the price for all of these
this is. Oh, it's a humidifier. Okay, it's new. Oh, your air purifier for $35. You have like a neck pillow, blanket. Ah, these are different little speakers. It all kind of matches. That's kind of a super cute cart to easily, like this would be a really cute pool cart if you have a pool or if you live somewhere that has a pool to just wheel that cart with all your towels and your needs down to the pool. How fun is that? That's kind of creepy. It's like a face, I think. But these are cool. I like the little rockets. These are new for $29.99. That feels, actually that feels kind of cheap, but if you have a kid, this might be perfect for, or a little kid, this might be perfect for their room because I bet that it is not breakable. It feels like cheap plastic, but I think it would be a smart idea for one of those in a kid's room as opposed to having something that's like glass or that will break. These little bunnies are cute too, these little space bunnies. <laughs> How cute is that? picture shelves that I have in my house. I actually bought the white ones, but I like that I could have bought the black ones. And they also have some like rustic ones. Those are really nice. These actually feel a lot sturdier than mine do. <laughs> they also come in a variety of sizes. So you can get this size, but you can also get um, smaller sizes. And it looks like the smaller ones come in even more variety of color options. So I do apologize. I was not able to even finish the store, but I almost was. Like, I was so close. We were just walking into like the faux plants and I had the live plants left to share with you and all the planters when my phone died. I could not believe it. I, I can't even honestly believe that I have like over an hour video to share with you guys. So I hope that you guys have made it this far. If you are, go ahead, drop a strawberry down in the comments for me. And you guys are seriously the true MVPs. I thank you guys so much for getting through this entire video. Don't worry though, we are still going to be sharing a haul for you. Um, and you're going to see a lot of little snacks, but I'll explain that all in just a minute. So we got home super late last night, but I did want to go ahead and show you what I picked up. Unfortunately, a lot of the items were out of stock. Now, I don't know if that's because the, um, the Jacksonville Ikea is just really tiny or what, but I did run into some of those issues. I know some of the things that I wanted was in or they were at the Orlando store, so I might have to send Fred. We'll see. But for today, this is what I got. Yes, we always get tons of snacks when we go. Um, we It looks like Fred, I, I don't even know all of this um but it looks like fred picked up some of the chocolate now i think these were three for five dollars for the chocolate bars um it looks like cho dark chocolate milk chocolate with hazelnuts and just a regular plain milk chocolate um <laughs> their their candy and snacks are really good so if you ever go definitely pick up yourself a treat um this is just some salty licorice we love black licorice and i actually really wanted my kids to try like real black licorice because I feel like this is more real than like you know black jelly beans uh, we also picked up these candy bars they're almond let's see almond caramel 
on a sweet chewy base covered in milk chocolate so i feel like these are going to be kind of like maybe a snickers bar without you know with almonds as opposed to um, peanuts but everybody got one of those and then we also picked up these um other chocolate bars milk chocolate bar with oat biscuit and caramel so i'm gonna guess that these taste like a twix we also picked up some of these little mini cinnamon rolls um the kids and Fred wanted to try those. And then our favorite are these little cookies. I love these little raspberry cookies. Girl Scouts used to have a cookie just like this. Oh, goodness. I think it was like back in the 90s. If you know, let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but they also have a chocolate version as well that the kiddos like. Moving away from the treats, we picked up this Sieve? Sev? I'm not really sure what these are called. Like this strainer, basically. Um, we've really gotten into um, making our own orange juice. And I hate pulp, you guys. So we bought this to help strain out some of the pulp in our orange juice. We got a couple little brushes here. These are the brush, best dang brushes, you know, when it comes to cleaning, especially in your tub. Um, and so I picked up a couple of these. I think they're only like a buck 79 or something like that they're super affordable super cheap they do have hooks on them which make them easy for storage if you have hooks under your sink but i love cleaning with these they do a great job getting in those like between the the shower wall and the tub or the shower base and then you saw these at the very beginning of today's video. The, these little lanterns are just so cute. I thought that they would be perfect when I go to decorate um, the lanai. Or I might just keep them inside. I haven't really decided where I wanted to put them. But I just thought they were so cute. And I just love them. I love how they are same, the same but different. At the, you know, at the same time. Um, they ha they're they both like a matte black. They have a different texture though. Like this one is more of like a sanded texture. Can you see that there? Where this is more of a smooth texture. And then um, they both have cutouts. This one's more of a floral well, it's like little flowers, daisies. This one has more of like the vine kind of floral pattern on there. Can you kind of see there? Um, but I thought they were both really cute. And I haven't 100% decided where I'm going to put them. Like I said, I might put them out on the lanai. Out on the lanai. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope hope that it was helpful <laughs> for y'all in finding anything that you may need at ikea um if you have other stores that you're wanting me to shop at let me know and we'll go ahead and go shopping together so anyway go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to stay happy healthy and safe and we will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>